So let's get back to where it all started. So at the time I was not looking for a pony at all. I had a little 13-2 new forest called Mittens who I do still have but you guys haven't seen her because she is currently out on loan and she's been out on loan now for a year and a half. Um, so Mittens done her check ligament which meant she was out of action for nine months. So while Mittens was out of action for nine months I was going to uh, riding stables in Chumley um, and I was having lessons every single Thursday just to keep up with my riding over the nine months um, and my instructor that was giving me lessons on mittens um, was going to a camp and and she didn't have a proper saddle that would fit her horse so we had some saddles so my mum dropped a few saddles down for her to try and my mum went to the livery yard and down the livery yard to get to the yard there's like fields where some of the ponies are grazed now there was a pony up in the top field that my mum liked not to have or anything she just liked it it was her type and my mum and jane i wasn't here by the way guys i was at school um, and this was back in 2018 and Jane was like I think you need to start to look for a new pony for Millie because I hadn't got to the fact where I was going to outgrow Mittens but Mittens was very green and she was very stubborn and I used to ride her in the sand school and she used to take off with me across the sand school. So my instructor used to get on her because she just thought it was me and Mittens bolted with her. So um, my instructor did actually say I do very well to stay calm on her and do very well to ride her because she used to get so annoyed with her because Mittens would just lock her neck, put her tongue over the bit. So Jane, my instructor, felt that it would probably be a good idea to get a new pony my mum was like no 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 more ponies we'll just wait for the nine months millie's having lessons at the riding stable and then we'll crack on with mittens and she was just getting into a general conversation and she was talking about danny because kaylee used to drive her car and lead danny out of the window and they used to go down together so they would do that to take him to the stable and they were just getting into their general conversation about that and my mum could remember seeing kaylee do that with danny because i used to go down there for lessons with my old pony before mittens and my mum was like i really like that pony up in the top field and jane was like that's the pony that kaylee used to lead out of the truck and my mum was like yeah i really like him and then she didn't say any more about it. My mum went, picked me up from school and said about Jane saying about me getting another pony. And I was like, no, I don't want another pony. I love mittens. You know, I'll just wait the nine months. And then we had a phone call from Jane to say, you know that pony that you really liked up in the top field? Well, I've spoken to its owner and she would be interested in loaning Danny to you. And I was like, oh, you know. I was getting all excited, even though I said, I don't want another pony, I love mittens. I'm always like that when it gets to that stage of thinking about getting a new pony. And my mum was like, no, 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 too soon. We don't want another pony, you know. And I was like, what's her name? What's her name? So we looked her up on Facebook because I didn't have a clue what he looked like. My mum was like, you know, he is smart and that. And I was like, I really want to see it. So I was just stalking her through Facebook scrolling down at all of the videos all of the photos like wow he's so nice he looks so good my mum was like no 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 not having another pony at all because whenever we do go to look at a pony we always rush into it we always go for the first one that we view which is definitely not a good idea so if any of you guys are looking for 
a new pony or you want a new pony just a little tip don't get the first one you see because sometimes it can work out but sometimes it doesn't so if you've got a few in mind that you want to go and look at go and look at them all first before you pick which one you want definitely do not go down the road of picking the first pony that you go and view so we didn't do anything about it a few months later it was august still in 2018 and we went to north devon show and we had a message from kaylee who is danny's owner at the time and she was like i hear you're thinking about loaning danny i would be really interested in loaning him to you this is what we've done sent through some photos so i got really excited um, so when we left North Devon show, we gave her a ring and arranged to go and see him, which we went to North Devon on the Wednesday and we viewed, well not viewed him, we went to see him on the Sunday and she was like, do you want to see him be tacked up? And we was like, yeah, we want to see absolutely everything. So we went down there and we saw, we saw her catch him, walk him down to his stable, tack him up. She got on him first walk trotted him and cantered him around and then I got him got on him after walk trotted and cantered him round on both reins he was very forward especially compared to what I'm used to mittens was very steady so my mum was a bit unsure with him being speedy and he could be strong so we wanted to have a lesson with him with my instructor to see what she thought of us two together unfortunately I don't have any videos of the first time I rode him or the video of my lesson but I've got lots of videos and photos of our journey. So we arranged to have a lesson with my instructor on the Wednesday and i done lots with him, walked trot and canter, done some transitions with him and I felt a lot more better because I got him a lot steadier than when we finished our lesson Jane said that we would both be fine together so obviously I was so excited. We then bathed Danny after because he was really sweaty and he just stood there and absolutely loved it. So in the evening, we messaged Kaylee to say that we really liked him. We're definitely interested in learning him. And Jane has already spoken to Kaylee and said that we would be both fine together. And Kaylee said, yeah, spoken to Jane. She's happy for you to loan him. Kaylee's happy for us to loan him and she said when do you want to start and we said tomorrow so on the Thursday which was the next day I went down there and I rode him in the sand school and he was a really good boy and then I was thinking what colour should I do Danny in um, and basically from the start of loaning him I've always had him in baby blue again I don't have any footage of me riding him on the first day was learning him which i'm really annoyed about because i'd love to look back on them so guys i thought instead of talking all the way through my vlog i would stop here now and put in all of my journey and i've written in when it was and what it was so i hope you enjoy <laughs>
Me and Kaylee went out for a hack because Kaylee got a new pony and we was just riding out. Everything was all normal. Um, we was doing the horses in the evening and then we was actually going to the theatre. We had a message to say that she was moving both the horses to keep it, which is Ilfracombe, which is obviously way too far for us to travel every day. So unfortunately, Kaylee took him which we were both crying all the way to the theatre. It was horrible. We still had to go and do him the next morning. I cried to go into school. And then that evening we was packing up all our stuff to leave and it was horrible, absolutely horrible. I think I have got a photo of me saying bye to him. So loads of people was message messaging us saying that Danny's up for sale. Then Kaylee messaged us and said, would we like to buy him? And we said yes. And then we went and picked him up a few days later. <laughs>
I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. Please make sure you like and subscribe and look out for my next video and I'll see you all next time. Bye!